with any luck. Should be good. So this is the type of press that was used uh, from the early 1500s all the way till about 1900. These are ink balls. Um, and so you would have uh, a turned uh, ball stock that would be filled with teased wool and then covered with an animal pelt, which had been soaked in chamber lye, and then covered in ink, and the beater would work the ink together. You can hear that kind of tacky, sticky quality to it, right? <laughs> and while the beater is doing this, the puller, who's my puller? Come right on up. Uh, would prepare her sheet there. Here's the paper. Actually, I realized that I have not inked your format. I apologize. <laughs> it's probably important. Being the bad beater in the van. So this is why sometimes ink was a little thicker on some spots. Yep, that's exactly that. correct. We'll bring it actually to this mark here, just over the platen. Perfect. And then take the bar and pull it all Down. the way against the wooden cheek of the press. The reason why we make two impressions is because the wood has a natural springiness to it. And then, with any luck, it should be good. Ta -da! Oh, you can take it home with you. Absolutely. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I hope you will.